Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today let's talk about a Dolce and a Cabana fragrance. This one's called Light Blue Discover Volcano. And I got two of the two ML samples off of eBay to uh, check this one out from. Here's what the bottle looks like. It looks pretty similar to the original bottle. Not much uh, available information inside the card or description or anything. It just says Woody Cheap Ray Limited Edition Available While Stocks Last. Although I did see it's still pretty easy to find online, like at uh, FragranceNet. 2014 release, classified as a woody aromatic. Top notes of Italian lemon and ginger. Middle notes of cypress and lavender. Base of vetiver and cedar. So uh, some of the flankers of light blue are dedicated to islands surrounding the coast of Italy. Um, Volcano is actually one of the islands. There's a, sort of a picture of what the island looks like. There's also... Fragrances uh, dedicated to an island called Stromboli in Lepardi, I think was the other one. So at least three fragrances dedicated to um, small islands surrounding the coast of Sicily or Italy. Um, so this is the only one of those that I've tried. I've been trying to find the other ones. Some of these are pretty hard to find. Uh, so I guess you just have to keep searching on eBay and hopefully uh, the samples will pop up eventually or maybe never at all. And like I said, these are mostly limited edition fragrances um so when i first smell this fragrance it does sort of have a similar smell as i remember to the original light blue uh sort of like a bit floral citrus aquatic but this one certainly does seem to take its own direction after a bit um, i'm getting a lot of herbal aspects here which aren't mentioned in the uh description from what i can see Maybe the cypress has an herbal quality to it or something, but or the vetiver, but I think there's something not listed here that's giving it a definitely a definite herbal quality. I've heard people say things like dill, um, parsley, pickles, you know, something sort of unusual and green like that. To me, I'm not sure what it is. Could be some sort of a uh, synthetic seaweed note or something like that, but definitely something green and sort of herbal smelling and, and a little bit different uh, so if you like those green herbal um, smelling fragrances especially in an aquatic formula this one is definitely one to check out especially if you like the original light blue this one I believe is a more herbal take on that formula um, and since it does like I said dill maybe remind people of pickles or something like that it might be something you want to try before you buy because it could be uh, a bit polarizing for some people. I, I've seen some great reviews. I've seen some negative uh, reviews on this one. I'm sort of in the middle, maybe a slight above average for me. I mean, I would certainly have no problem wearing this one, but I'm not sure if I would want a full-size bottle of it. So. I think it is one of those fragrances that can kind of grow on you over time. If you smell it more and more, you'll kind of get used to that uh, sort of unusual um, green, slightly herbal or almost seaweed-like note. It's almost like you took some seaweed, maybe you marinated it in some lemon juice. Um, you get some light breezy woody notes in there as well. I don't really get ginger to my nose. Some people say they get ginger, but I don't really get ginger. Um, so it's pleasant, uh, but different, and certainly not what I would call a safe fragrance. I would probably maybe consider getting this one over the original, because I did find the original not really to my taste, because maybe it's a bit floral, um, good, but not really my favorite in terms of aquatics. So let's see what the final scores are on this one. The smell 7 out of 10. A nice smelling fragrance, not something that really blows me away, but uh, smells pleasant enough that I would consider um, wearing it several times. Uh, projection longevity, I say four to six hours, seven and a half out of ten, at least uh, moderate as terms as aquatics go. Versatility, seven out of ten, definitely a summer springtime fragrance, warmer weather, daytime, casual wear. Uniqueness, I'll say 8 out of 10. I think that's what really strikes me here is that unusual green aspect here uh, from some sort of different herbal tone. If you smelled, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking like Yves Saint Laurent's Live Jazz. I think that might have had like a cilantro note or something in it. 
I think somebody even compared it to Escape by uh, Calvin Klein. I remember that one having some kind of a green quality to it. Um, to me, though, it's almost like you took Bulgari Aqua or Bulgari Aqua Marine. It's kind of in between there. It's maybe a little bit fresher than Aqua, but not quite as fresh as Aqua Marine. So it's somewhere like that. It's almost like a flanker of Aqua it's from Bulgari as, as far as I'm concerned as well. So if you like, you know, the Bulgari Aqua fragrances, if you like light blue from Dolce & Gabbana, if you like herbal fragrances with an aquatic twist, you certainly want to try to check this one out and see what you think. Uh, 5165 at uh, Fragrance Net, 2.5 ounce bottle. So I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10. Definitely a fun one to check out if you're into aquatics and you like herbal fragrances. So those are my final thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.